So we, because of the pandemic, are graduating early. Um, and of course, because of the pandemic as well, we won't be graduating together. We'll be graduating virtually. Nobody's ever going to have another graduation like this in our lifetimes, I would imagine. And I think there's a lot of good that's come out of it. There's still some apprehension about walking into the situation right now, and there's still anxiety and there's still fear. We're walking into a pandemic with a lot of unknowns. At the same time, though, it is exciting in a way as, as medical students, all of us have spent the last four years, you know, building up this skill set to be able to treat patients. And I think there's no better year than your third year of medicine to teach you how to adapt quickly to situations. You know, you're thrust into a rotation on your first day and you don't know anything about, for example, OBGYN or surgery. And right when you started developing some expertise, maybe in your third week of a rotation, it's the last week. And so you move on to another rotation and you're on pediatrics. And I think for me personally, that experience was the greatest year of personal growth in the sense that you get comfortable being uncomfortable. We didn't get into medicine to, to just sit here with this knowledge and skill set. Ultimately, sort of the place that I think a lot of my, my classmates and myself included want to be is in the wards. Just looking at all those who trained you um, in this art, in this profession, seeing them on the front lines right now, it's that drive, it's that desire to do good in the world. And I think that's why I and a lot of my classmates are itching to help because we just want to be useful. We want to make things easier for other people. Medical school was the best four years of my life, I'd say. Um, they were very challenging, but also very rewarding. I'll always be grateful for all those who taught me. I met people who will be lifelong friends who pushed my understanding of what it means to be a healthcare provider, what it means to be human, and what it means to be basically a good person. There's been so much going on um, that there were enough distractions to kind of keep me from reflecting on what graduation actually means. Um, but now as it's approaching, I'm starting to get more excited. I don't know if I'll, I mean, I'm sure at some point I'll get used to being Dr. Gunther, but it's gonna take me a while to get used to that. You're gonna have those two letters after your name and you're gonna actually be the physician for those patients. Reading the Hippocratic Oath again, and I hadn't read it for years now. It's heavy in the sense that the responsibility is great and you you finally understand what it means a bit better. And I'm sure over the next couple of years of training, we'll get to understand it even more. I do solemnly swear by whatever I hold most sacred that I will be loyal to the profession of medicine and just and generous to its members. I will lead my life and practice my art in uprightness and honor. I will do no harm. I will do no harm. I will do no harm. And I will do no harm. Into whatever home I enter, it shall be for the good of the sick and the well, to the utmost of my powers. I will hold myself aloof from wrong, from corruption, and from the tempting of others to vice. I will exercise my heart solely for the cure of my patients and the prevention of disease. And will give no drugs and perform no operation for a criminal purpose, and far less suggest such a thing. Whatsoever I shall see or hear of the lives of men and women which is not fitting to be spoken, I will keep inviolably secret. These things I do promise. 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 In proportion as I am faithful to this oath, may happiness and good repute be ever mine, the opposite if I shall be forsworn. Bye.